I want to talk about omnipresence and omnipotence and pretty much extending into all knowingness. And uh, how can someone here, for example, an individual me, individual me, receive a reality of a concept? Does that reality need to be limited to only sound waves? Um, how, can I sit? Can I stand here or? look at the stars and receive a different sense of awareness and different sense of activation in this existence where activity is so solid <clears throat> what I will suggest is uh, the idea that if you have a question when you post that question it is in a certain state to bring you any answer. Even shapes can be utilized in one's subtler reality, the imagination. How <clears throat> knowledge can communicate to you and is always communicating to you. Keep, uh, be open to the idea that even though we have a certain range of imagination and that's what we feel, Sometimes there's there's always there's no, never an option to measure. Just visualize that if you never made the concept of measurement, how would you live? Would your live life be sustainable still? Or did did you always need to have some kind of very well thought plan that is working with the ideas of time and the time that is utilized to organize? So do you want to put a ruler on another ruler and measure with certainty? There are, there are other ways to be certain. If we ask even ourselves why we perceive humanity that question will really break some faces. Our origin is received by us in different ways. That's why there are many different origin stories. The reason there are many different origin stories in regards to how one set of people thought about how to create for example, how the world was created and how another set of people thought about it and different cultures, in, in, in other words, developed. If you, if you go there, when was it that measurement became the most important notion of an agreement with truth? When? Once we are done with rulers shaping our reality, we will then put that ru ruler away, literally put it in the cupboard, put it beside your pencils or whatever, you know, and look at how honest your creative story which is your identity, is with what you really are. That is a deeper knowing of what many people call their soul, in, in my view. Therefore, once you know yourself, you know yourself. You don't need to be a person who doesn't know yourself. Be comfortable. Let intelligence be manifested in your life. Know that you might, you might be the tallest person, but if your head's down, you're not going to see what you're here to see. Therefore, really look at things. And look at even the good ideals. Do not only judge bad ideas. Judge the good ones as well. 
walk in life and walk in many rooms, feel many elevations and highs and lows. And once you have understood that, then see where you are, then exist. Think literally if this was the last day of your life and visually you've experienced, let's say, whatever amount of years you're alive here, and this was the last. Let's let us assume comfortably, let us comfortably, very comfortably and aware, consciously, let us assume that when we think, or let's think about how 40 years from now on you could be sitting here in the same seat and what your thought process would be of how you did it compared to how you were on the seat la the last time. What I would say is um, that to see what's here is always an abundant permission do not be so convinced by your ideas because some of your ideas are not your ideas let your livelihood express itself in the most natural way trust existence as it has existence existed so far in other words be comfortable with your shape body looks and everything that you can consciously objectify or even more subtle subtle subtlerly uh, subjectify you know aside from that feel your knowing in other words really this is not something that's really brought down to earth before but I would I would suggest that as you're sitting or whatever position you are in life right now in life or on the couch really begin to look at how comfortable you are with the amount that you know right now do you feel like you want to know more do you feel like you want more knowing so if usually people, they, that's what they, what many call a longing in someone. They, f they feel they want to know. They want to go towards a certain direction. They have an interest. Therefore, to allow yourself knowing means, in a sense, a detachment from the, pers the persona that doesn't know and a more re recollection of what has been collected before in all existence which is now <sighs> be in a let me say let me say it in this way when existence when when the answers to your questions come to you let's say you ask the question when the when the answers of your question come to you you'll really understand what questions are and wish to be you create your lack of knowing the knowing is always there beyond your uh, formed and bodied idea that is you your access and your relationship to an imagination observable really moves in various ways I don't know if I can express all of them but when you find your presence and your higher sense of a subtler body let's say and we, in other words your imagination is re-experiencing the moment in a, in a unique way or in a new way when that happens your you begin to slightly flirt with the higher dimensions in other words you're being you're playing you're playing with the higher dimensions or with your higher 
body when you actually feel your body there. In other words, if I am sitting right now and I'm aware of myself from more than just my eyes or that point of view, uh, but more like my surroundings from any conception point in my imagination that just presents a video of the possibility of my desire or not even desire, I don't want to, I don't want to use that word, of, of my direction. What is desire? Inevitably direction, a direction you go to. Therefore, as you breathe, know that the whole sky is passing through your nose. And with that intensity of simplicity, turn yourself into the doorknob of the greatest awakening and turn of your existence. For once the door is open, why is there anything closed?